Welcome to Finn and uh, pleased to be joined now by um, Nick from CAE. 70 years history, a proud history uh, for your company. 70 years where a lot of things have changed. Yeah, I think uh, when I look at the, just the 30 that I've been uh, working for CAE, we've gone from making a few simulators a year to uh, a global training provider with uh, you know, 50 locations and uh, 8,000 employees. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that. And of course, here at Paris, you're unveiling your first ever pilot outlook. Uh, give us the background to that. Well, this is becoming an issue. I think uh, you know we're uh, we're well connected to a lot of our customers, and we see that this is becoming a problem. And I think the unique part of this uh, forecast is that we want to raise awareness that uh, planning is going to be important. That these pilots don't exist. The pilots need to be created, and creating pilots requires lead time. And if you plan ahead of time, it won't be a shortage. And if you don't, then there may be. Uh, we do hear the uh, the stories of the demand for pilots, you know, there won't be enough, the fears are there will just not be enough. Is that something you see is going to happen or is there a supply there? No, I don't think so. I think uh, part of uh, the motivation for this forecast is there's absolutely demand for pilots. I think if you're a young person today and you're looking for a career, it's probably one of the one of the careers that you may want to consider. But I think what's, what's really uh, the, the motivation for us is to raise awareness so that there won't be a shortage of pilots uh, out into the future. Um, how many pilots are going to be needed then? Well, our forecast is about 250,000 pilots over the next 10 years. Uh, to put it in simpler terms, it's about 70 pilots a day over the next 10 years. So it gives, kind of gives you an idea of the magnitude of, the, uh, of what will be required. And we think 70 pilots a day can be created as long as airlines are coming along for the, uh, for the ride with us. Airlines are becoming a lot more interested in, uh, in uh, coming downstream and picking people who have potential and assessing them and interviewing them and in many cases even promising a job to them if they graduate their, uh, with, uh, with, their, uh, with their program. So yeah, we're seeing people already starting to uh, jump into that uh, process and we just want, I think more people should do it. And of course we hear about Boeing with the unmanned passenger jet. Does this mean that pilots and pilot training at some stage will be a thing of the past? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, probably not in my lifetime. I think uh, at least for the next 10 years, you know, the, the piloted aircraft are pretty much secured. Uh, what happens 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, you know, I don't know. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, at some point, one could imagine that this could be something that happens. And, uh, you know, it's all about creating uh, contacts with customers here at Paris. Uh, Ethiopian Airlines, Air India, Japan Airlines, you signed some big deals uh, over these uh, four days. Yeah, we, you, know, we have a, you know, we have a global business. CA is a Canadian company that exports 99% of what it makes uh, to the world. Uh, this is another, you know, the, all of these um, orders that you mentioned are, are loyal customers that have uh, been with CA for many years and we're proud to have them back for more. Thank you.